Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is my favorite of the large binoculars that Orion carries. This is the BT100 90 degree diagonal uh, with ED glass. So we've had a 45 degree uh, BT, the Giant View BT100 uh, 45 degree for um, quite a while now, and it's been very popular. Um, but we wanted to make something maybe a little bit more geared specifically for astronomy that has the nicest optics possible, and this is it. So first of all, 90 degrees, Right? When you're looking high in the sky, this is a more comfortable angle. Uh, I might want to raise the tripod up so I'm not bending down as much. Um, but a more comfortable angle when looking high in the sky. It would also work for some daytime viewing, but you'd be looking straight down into it when looking horizontal instead of at a 45 degree. So I guess you just have to decide what type of observing you're going to be doing more of to, just, to choose between the 45 degree angle and the 90. But for astronomy, this is the best. And we've also put ED glass in the front. Now, ED glass means extra low dispersion. That means, especially at high magnification, a lens system doesn't uh, give off spurious color. Usually it's, it's called false color. It's at the blue end or the red end of the spectrum. It's some of the light a little bit out of focus. So what ends up happening, especially when looking at the moon or a planet at higher power, you see a little bit of a halo, of a, like a purplish halo around the edges. Well, that's some of the light out of focus, meaning it's not quite uh, as sharp as it could be. So with the ED glass, it brings all those wavelengths of light from the blue end to the red end of the spectrum uh, in focus at one point, giving you a very crisp, very high contrast image. Uh, not to say that the standard BTs without the um, uh, ED glass give a bad image. It's just they're not quite as high contrast and sharp as the, as the ED BD100 gives you. Now, you can probably see, but this is a very big binocular, right? It weighs uh, a little bit over 16 pounds, so it's going to require a very big tripod to hold it. A standard photo tripod is not going to work um, unless you've got something, I mean, really massive at home. But uh, that's why I've, uh, I'm showing it off on the uh, Orion U-mount here, because this will hold uh, the binocular no problem. It's a large Altaz mount that swivels, and the binocular stays at the center of gravity. So no matter where you point it, the binocular is always balanced. So I do recommend a, a mount like the, the U-mount to hold this uh, type of binocular. It comes with two 18 millimeter uh, wide angle lenses. These are um, uh, ultra flat field, uh, 65 degree eyepieces. And they're quite nice. They're very sharp. They're very flat off to the edges. That means sharp at the edges, not, not uh, out of focus. Um, but the BT100 uses standard astronomy eyepieces. So any inch and a quarter eyepiece will drop in here. And let me use this one because it's closer to the camera. Uh, it uses compression locks, so you rotate the collar, slip it in, and then just tighten down the collar, and the binocular is held snugly, it's held centered, so it's nice and collimated, and you're ready to start observing. The eyepieces angle in and out here for different uh, inner pupillary distances, so uh, anybody should be able to use this um, uh, with any kind of eye spacing. Um, one of my favorite parts is that since this does use standard astronomy eyepieces, the eyepieces are threaded for filters. So what that means is you can put, uh, if you look on the moon, you think it's too bright, get a pair of standard moon filters. Uh, but my favorite view is with a pair of narrow band, uh, like the ultra block filters, looking at something like the Orion Nebula. It really makes it stand out against the background. Um, they're light pollution filters, so you definitely can use them in light polluted skies. But the ultra blocks especially, you can use those in a very dark sky site too, just as a contrast boost. And the BT-100 using two eyes and two ultra block filters looking at Orion, or the lagoon, the trifid, um, maybe some planetary nebulas like the ring or the dumbbell. They really stand out against the background and look almost three-dimensional. So that's yeah, it's one of my favorite views and I highly recommend getting a, a package like that. Otherwise, the, the binocular uh, comes with extendable dew shields. Right now I've got them out, they'll, they'll collapse down to that. Um, it's good if you've got glare from the side coming in, it'll block some of that extra light. It also prevents dew from forming uh, for a longer period of time. So if it's wet outside and you have these extended, you can go a little bit longer before the dew finally gets inside and starts doing over the, uh, the objective lens. Now, the binoculars are uh, waterproof and nitrogen purged, so they can be used in inclement weather. Now, that's not to say that you want to store these outside. This is not like the coin-operated uh, uh, binoculars that just stay outside at the Vista Point all the time. Um, after a while, the, the, the fit and the finish will start looking bad if you just always leave them out in bad weather. So uh, it will, it's impervious to do, even if you're out birding and it's uh, raining, you're, you'll be fine. Um, but bring them back in when you're done and clean them off, and these will last basically a lifetime. 
There is a handle on top for carrying this around. Like I said, it's a little bit over 16 pounds, so it's nice to have the handle. Um, and we also now offer a, uh, an optional uh, uh, accessory carrying case for the BT series of binoculars. We've got a very large, hard-shelled, hard, -shelled, hard uh, uh, case with foam insert, so it fits snugly inside. There's room for up to four sets of eyepieces, uh, plus some other small accessories, and it really it protects your investment. So I do recommend uh, thinking about getting the case along with your uh, binoculars. All right, well, there you have it. This is our largest binocular telescope designed uh, really for high magnification uh, astronomy with uh, uh, two sets of eyepieces to get you started. Of course, you can always add on more eyepieces to do higher magnification for lunar and planetary viewing. Um, and it also works great for daytime spotting as well. The BT-100 90-degree ED binocular. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.